Herr Präsident. President, I voted against the report of my colleague Otmar Karis, um, because I think he's a, a rogue. Listening to pr um, Prime Minister Katanen speaking about rules, um, the rule here uh, is one which isn't um, uh, adhered. Um, um, for example, we can think about the Maastricht criteria, which weren't uh, adhered to. Um, which uh, made the financial crisis possible. There are lots of ways to get round uh, the rules on bonuses. Um, um, it's naive to think that bonus payments for bank managers um, uh, involved in speculation, that uh, they are ruled out. Uh, there are lots of ways to get round it. There's no uh, uh, change of culture in banking uh, that uh, was uh, regretted by many colleagues. Uh, look at art Article 90. Uh, uh, which is supposed to deal with this uh, situation um, uh, compared to the current Article 90, um, um, uh, you can see the, the, the handwriting of the, the bank managers uh, and the way they can get round it. Finally, um, we'll have banks um, which um, have to be allowed to go bankrupt. Uh, the only um, purifying effect would be if speculators were to lose their, um, from their speculation and the banks were to go bankrupt. That's the only thing that would really work. Thank you very much, Mr. Statler. Mrs. Antonescu, please. Thank you very much indeed, President. Coming out of the financial crisis is largely dependent on stability and sustainability in credit institutions and investment organizations. Reducing external costs that these organizations face is a very important priority.